The Sophie Turner Joe Jonas divorce and custody battle wages on. Joe, it seems, wants to keep the case in the U.S., while it seems Sophie wants it moved to the U.K. But in a court filing this week, Sophie revealing that a buyer's love letter that Joe wrote is proof that the two of them had planned to make England their forever home. If you haven't watched my earlier videos, they are in the attached playlist so you can get up to date. But essentially, Sophie and Joe have asked for a temporary pause on the divorce proceedings so they can iron out the custody arrangement. After Joe filed for the divorce in Florida, Sophie followed it up with a lawsuit in New York. The arrangement, she says, is that when she was done filming in the UK, she would come back to New York, pick up her kids and take them back to England where they have a home. But Joe, she says, prevented her from getting their passports and taking them back. So she filed this lawsuit saying essentially that he was abducting their children. Joe had listed their permanent residence as Florida, but in Sophie's lawsuit, she listed everywhere they had lived since September of 2022, saying that they had shipped most of their belongings to this home in England that they were going to make their permanent home. But Sophie says that the buyer love letter that Joe wrote on June 16th is proof that they were going to make England their forever home. The letter started, when my wife and I decided we were going to spend more time in the UK and search for a permanent home, our daughter expressed three unwavering requirements, having chickens, a pony, and a Wendy house. The letter continued where Joe talked about loving the charming blue shutters and the beautiful walled garden. And in this letter that Joe wrote, he apparently brought up Sophie's dad being an incredible gardener. He also said how he envisioned himself living in England and how he had been completely charmed by the idea of dropping his children off to school on the boat and being able to spend a leisurely afternoon cruising to the pub with friends on his very own boat. The letter concluded with Joe saying, we could tell that your family have truly loved living here and we can envision our children growing up here and making this our forever home. And according to Sophie's filing, the seller was so moved by the letter that they accepted their offer. And allegedly, Joe even texted one of Sophie's sisters-in-law saying, well, Sophie and I officially own a home in the UK. Now, whether this letter and any other evidence Sophie has will sway the judge to let her return to the UK with the children is still to be determined. But as of now, the interim consent order that was issued this week states that the mother and father are prohibited from removing their two children from the jurisdiction of New York. So seems like Sophie Turner may be crashing at Taylor Swift's place for a little bit longer.